Hello YouTube. Sense here, play some more Noida again tonight to keep this run going. Been a heck of a journey. And we are gonna keep it moving down and down. We want to get to if we recall at the end of the last episode, right? We want to find the hell biome underneath the eastern side. Now that we grabbed the missing um, orb of forbidden knowledge, right? You notice how we ended up kind of fixing our wand, our drill wand, just a little bit there by putting remove bounce on it. it ended up really improving our frame rate uh, dramatically. But we are going to take moments to kind of eat organic matter that we run into while we're down here. And pick up the coins. A little bit of worm blood is always good. Worm blood just helps us see a little better. Very little reason not to consume it. We certainly have the belly for it, as we know. Whether or not that's adding to our satiation, I'm not 100% sure, but it's worth drinking. Just to light up the area a little better, adds a little bit of passive light to everything we see. And, you know, we're very serious about getting uh, high satiation at this point. And this is because we're maximizing the Eat Your Vegetables perk. What liquid is this over here? Pheromones? Okay. That's something we're really looking for this second. Water and all that is looking alright. Still want to remove bounce, though, right? That's where we were left before, because our teleport wand leaving a lot to be desired without it. Hopefully it turns up. We know we saw one before, we just simply can't remember where the heck it was. Which is annoying, to say the least. That's not it. There's a crit there, but I think we're I think we're critted out. I really feel like the amount of, of crit plus that we've picked up, a little silly for us to keep hoarding that. Is this mushroom stuff? Yeah, I'm tripping. We don't want to be tripping too hard. There's obviously advantages to doing that. I, I, I don't know exactly what they are. I think you have to eat mushrooms in certain places. Oof. And then you get an access to... Certain secrets then reveal themselves. Certainly something we can look into, if it's ever necessary. Ooh. But, um, I seem to be hit with some toxicity here. Hey, there's a bunch of Flamoxium just dropped. I wonder if I can scoop up any of that, yeah? Ooh, I just poured the wrong potion out a little bit. That's okay. wonder if that's going to make a little guiding powder. No, it looks like the flux is melting down for us. Not much I can work with there. Okay, well, a potion burst of it, and these things happen. I must have just clipped one with my drill. No worries, we still have tons of the substance, and it only takes a little bit to make that guiding powder, right? Definitely not that expensive of an operation. Damage plus could be interesting. But without another remove... Ooh, there's some more health. Without another remove knockback, it's probably not going to be the most useful. One of the things we want to do in this episode is just make our way down the hell, as I was saying before. But also we want to try to find a very specific spell. A couple of specific spells we're still looking for. Reduce Lifetime or Nala. Another Remove Bounce, very important. We're not finding it yet. 
It looks like there's a little snow biome over here. This could be the snowy chasm. It is. I believe some snowy chasms do indeed have an orb. In this case, it would be an orb of forbidden knowledge. I mean, we could guiding powder our way to it, to one. Okay, nothing there. First of all, what's that curse do? This is called explosives. They take extra damage from explosions for a short time. And I believe we have to hit them with a projectile in order for that to even proc. So we won't be able to just put that on our explosion wand and have that work for us. That's okay. Explosion wand isn't so much about the damage as much as it's about the trick blood money. I have been hit with poison. That's going to be a problem. That looks like polymorphine over there too. Let's see if I can get some of this substance off me. Okay. We have found our way down to the vault. And one thing we want to do when we're down in the vault that we mentioned before in a previous episode is, you know, if we end up seeing a big chop pile of meat somewhere, which they exist in the vault for sure. There is meat around. We want to consume that. Keep our satiation way up. But let's always be careful. There's could be there's polymorph all around. There are masters of polymorphs who can end our game. And like, you know, not to be overly apocalyptic, but deaths like that happen when you least expect them. Remember my theory about going up. Up is bad. Up gets liquid to land on you that you don't want. That looks like an acid vault or thing over there. I'd like to just break the acid and let it dilute and melt down the things beneath it. Okay. Ooh, acid everywhere. 30 million gold we're up to. Looking sharp. Something's earthquaking around here. Usually it's a sign that someone picked up an earthquake wand and is acting crazy, or, uh, check that out, we might be closing in on a little bit of a power plant biome, but I don't think so. I think that was just a guy. Maybe a New Game Plus some of those power plant mobs just sort of... Oh, there's a Master Polymorph. Got rid of them. Good thing that didn't clip us. Let's blow this up. Whatever this is. Several wands to choose from over here, so let's see if we get lucky. Increase lifetime, interesting, and a slice thing, but not what we need. What about you? That's eh, just a silly teleport. We already have that. We only need the one. Okay, there we are back in the jungle. Not what we needed. This vault is a little bigger than I expected. It's going quite a bit to the right. Aha, and it leads to another jungle. Interesting. Down real careful, like Stens. A couple wands under here we're going to want to take a look at. Let's grab all these coins while we're here. Up to 31 million. Earthquake on here, two-way fireball launcher, lots of explosives, but not what we needed. Over here, a couple of interesting things, but once again, not our wand, not our spell. Oh, what was that? What is that thing? Hmm, something is... something bit me. Always good to eat the things, get a little satiation in here. Oof. Very toxic. Too worried about the electricity over here? I am immune to that. Not so concerned.
something clipped me there, so let's heal that. Whatever that was. Possibly just got hit with a little bit of toxicity. This liquid is pretty messy where we are, so let's not... We can take a moment to eat things. Now, what do we do with this? We blow this up. Okay. Not finding anything, but that's okay, because we didn't come to the vault to find vault things. I mean, yes, there's plenty of reasons to explore the vault right now, especially finding, you know, big vat of meat. Seems like a good way for me to pad my belly with some more stuff. And we are really going to be looking for that while we flip through a bunch of these places. Lots of enemies around, so plenty of action. And there's a wand. Let's blow this up. Take a hot minute for that. And there's a little shop right above us, huh? But nothing, nothing we needed. Okay. Interesting spells, but the wrong ones, nonetheless. Is this a meat vat or an acid vat? Ooh, it's a broken acid vat. Good. We still have some PTSD from the last time we fell into a vat of acid and died. You know, it's like since that was a while ago. But, you know, you never forget the nasty ones. And I just toxified myself, speaking of which. We also have no way to put that out. We don't, we're not carrying water. We just sort of have to eat it when we get toxic. Okay, we already, already looked at this one, so now we're seeing some repeat biomes here. I mean, not biomes, but repeat areas. I can always, uh, well, I can't always, but at times I go, oh, I, I remember looking at that wand already. Okay. Mobs that are alive means maybe we didn't explore this, but it looks like we're back up into the jungle, so if we're gonna find meat, we should probably Ooh, there's mages in here too. Let's deal with that. Wow, excuse me. Just here for the coins. You know, pick farming money here, great and all, but not gonna be the real way to get money. I feel like hell is really paying out much better. It's those golden idols. 10k a pop. Actual noticeable chunk. Down we go into what should be the vault right below us. It is. Good. What's this fiasco over here? You see guys seeing this? A bunch of them are fighting each other. Let's start with one of these. Let's see if this sets the record straight and who's in charge around here. One of them pick up that wand in the middle of that brouhaha? I guess so. Drop that wand, buddy. Don't kill me with that thing. What's in there? Chain spell and a bunch of exploding crystals. Cool. Concentrated mana potion. Just wanted to make sure that that wasn't a horrible liquid of doom before I go diving into things. It's all about like recognizing little pixels. I mean, like, wait a second, that little color right there? That means death. Decelerating shot and a different kind of black hole. White hole. I haven't messed with white hole yet. Sounds intriguing. There's the acid we gotta get rid of. Just let's drain that, so as to not leave a treacherous thing behind. And we've made it all the way to the edge. And that is 
It's like, I'm asking a question of like, where's the beef? This place is supposed to have big old chunks of blood. Actually, it's meat, we're going to specify. But I wonder if I do a little bit of guiding powder right over here. If we could take a little bit of a detour and say like, alright, well is there one in the, is there something in the chasm? Wouldn't it be cool if we found something like that? Let's see what happens. Ooh, it's burning it. See, this was wrong. We just wasted stuff because we've got some the wrong liquid in there. And then this thing again? I hate those. Every time I'm in the, the chasm, this purple whatever comes after me. So we're going to pass on that guiding powder right now. It only costs me maybe a percent of liquid in each thing. And we can always get more, too. Well, we can't always get more, but we can, we can hope. All right, bad guys, load that up. Trick blood money. Trick blood money plus greed should be more than enough cash flow. Hey, a master of polymorph. We don't do, we don't do that. We don't allow any of that. It doesn't seem like I can actually eat the polymorph man's body anymore in order to get that extra bit of protection that we want against polymorph. So we just have to be super careful. Now, granted, whatever, like the most, like ten, the ten seconds or so. Not 10 seconds, but the, like 180 seconds of it isn't going to necessarily make or break my character. What is this thing? Oh, it's just two guys standing on top of each other. We don't need to care about that. It looked like a different kind of mob that I didn't recognize. That looks like a little bit of ambrosia out there. So somebody's ambrosia opened up. It's okay. Alright, so where is our half down from here. We obviously know we went further down than this. We would have gotten the Temple of Art. Could it be could it have been right here? A lot of acid that seems to have leaked. Bet you it's a little further to the right. Moving right along, a little bit of acid. Boobers everywhere. But I'm immune to melee, so we can just kind of walk through them. Nice and calm-like. Okay, so, at some point, there will be a way to go further down. Just not exactly sure where. Certainly are not finding the, spe the uh, remove bounce that we wanted to find. Could this be the safe path further down? We went pretty far over the left, guys, so... This is not it, but yes, this is it, actually. Check it out. This is our pathway. Oh yeah. Ooh, it just leads right into the Temple of the Art. So we got a little turned around in here. Where is... We did already go through here. There's blood all over the place. Ow, ow, ow. I'm like stuck in a curse. Nasty. Still, we can heal right through that, no problem. Alright, this is Temple of the Art. Ah, uh, the shop, I should say. Ooh, jumped into the lava. I think it just kissed me for a second, no big deal. My concern is that if there is no, um, if there is no work down here beneath us, then where, then how do I go down to hell, right? I'm not exactly sure. It means there won't be a shop. Deadly heal, okay. Freeze charge, okay. I'm gonna assume we can get down to hell through uh, a, a very straightforward tactic of just kind of wiggling our way down through the Temple of the Art. Very careful, like, because of course this is a very dangerous area. A lot can go wrong. A lot of polymorph around. A lot of masters of polymorph. Not as worried about the mobs, but the reflecting guy could be annoying. 
sure we get all these coins. We're also going to take a moment to pick up this heart. There's a couple mages over there. Excuse me. Polymorph guy. Kill it. Earthquake. Careful with that. Now the wands can be pretty good at Temple of the Art too, so let's keep our eyes peeled for any wands that we want to loot. Hey, there's a heart. We know we want that. What's up there? Coins and stuff. Okay. Good. 33 million. Looking solid. We just really want that 2 billion gold at some point, just for, um, gold to power spell. We know we saw it for sale somewhere, but it could have been in the old world, right? A lot of this is like, well, you know, Stens, you didn't pick up the ooh, unstable teleport. Aha! I am still going to keep Ambrosia for emergencies, but let's try to remember that that unstable teleport is here in the East Parallel World, should we run out of unstable teleport. We know we're going to need it. Okay. Nothing there. At least we found a wand, right? What was that sound? Someone froze? Something was... Something's afoot. Oh, what is... What is that? I feel like I'm about to be teleported out of here. Like that is teleport juice. Okay. What we want to do is... Oh, what is this? Flamuxium, again. Okay, let's not break it. Don't touch that. Oh, I heard it might have just snapped. The gods are afraid. Wonder why. Look at this. This might lead us to lava. So let's kind of repel along the wall here. I bet you we're going to find a lava lake right under here. We don't want to really fall all the way into it. Um, we want that, and we want... Let's see if Lava to Blood is going to crash our computer or not. It's not. Okay. Beautiful. So to our right should have been where the work would have been. Uh, but because we're in a parallel world, we don't have to mess around with it. We're just hoping to find... Anala down here, and we're also going to be picking up tons of money in Hell. And now I know we just did Hell, right? But we, de we did not get the spell we wanted, right? And remember what we did last time with this is we got tons of concentrated mana in here. And, you know, we are seeing a bit of a frame rate drop, and that's okay. There should still be Hell beneath us. We're just, we need to go a little further into this, but we should be finding it soon. Could be running into a sheer rock wall. Come on, guys. Everybody stay positive. I'm not seeing it right now, and that's a little disconcerting. Are we too far to the right? The question. Or is it just a little further down? Oh no, there it is. Whew. For a second I'm like, oh no, this is... We went too far to the right, and now we're on that really deep lava part, which is going to be really annoying to go through. I don't want that. I do think that once we get through this, we are going to switch this, put this up, top up here, somewhere like that. Yeah, we'll use lava to blood there. And we should be appearing in hell. Any second, there's our hell. Wonderful. East of the work. Good. Now, hey, let's also remember, there is an orb of true knowledge in here. There's money galore. Golden idols. It's also relatively safe when we're talking about in terms of... Polymorph guys. So we can be a little more reckless in here and not have to worry about being killed. Now, once we go further down, of course, polymorph will be an issue when we're looking for the shop. But I am going to mess around with a little bit of guiding powder just to give myself just enough of a leeway to know where what we're doing. Dump some of this. Come on. Anything? 
not giving us anything. Oh, because it's concentrated mana. Good job, Stents. Okay, I was like, why is my potion not working? You poured the wrong potion. Okay, it was pointing this way. Because we remember it wasn't very far down from the entry point. So, we'll have to triangulate, but for now we can just sort of follow where that guiding powder was saying to go. And it led us right where we needed to be. Okay, I'm getting stuck in some stuff. There's our orb room that we wanted. And let's see if we can do this another safe way by just touching the very edge of it. Oops, I got the poison. Okay, we're going to heal through it by just hanging out here. Due to it being in a new game plus, the poison damage is rather excessive. So I don't want to go running around too long for too long until this thing is completely gone. We're going to try to heal through it. So our first mission has been accomplished by coming in here, which was get the orb. And boy, did we ever get it. Almost healed through that. Okay. We're totally fine. While our homunculi are busy convulsing. Let's make our way all the way to the left. So we can fall down to the shop. It seems to be the bigger of the two shops, too. And this is where we're hoping to find a nice Nala. In an attempt to make a cooler teleport wall. Hello, hello, hello. Worm, worm City. Look how many hit points these things have. I'm not concerned about them biting me, but I'm thinking that because I am immune to melee, they're not going to do too much. Not sure whether they cut through immune to melee or not. Scrooge McDuck pile over here. A few idols. Beautiful. 36 million. And counting. Alright, it was Worm City over here, too. Boom, 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 boom. Something's going on down here. Sort of freezing vapor from something. Interesting thing to run into in hell. And with the snow down here, we're probably near the bottom of hell, of the main hell biome. So let's make our way all the way over to the left. We're hoping to find the spell in the first shop we go to, so we don't have to spend forever on this. Interesting snow. Okay, here's the rock wall that we wanted. And remember what we do. Folks, we fall down here careful, like so we don't land in a giant vat of polymorphine. We rappel down this wall, we'll be nice and safe, like. As long as we have our eyes on the screen. Chop doesn't take that long to fall down to. This takes a little longer by being careful. I don't like to just land and possibly land in a bad liquid. Oh, there are a few perks we have in case something weird like that happens, right? We have extra life. We have second, like, second chance. There's a few things that we have that will give us another lease on life. But let's not use those, right? Those only go off one time. And, sure enough, we found the shop. This is something. Blood to power. Not quite sure how that works. We could buy it and find out. There's a... Divide by spell. We have a few of those already saved up for when we decide to... Stop being lazy and learn how those things are supposed to work. 
just seems a little complicated for Stenz's brain. Every time I put one on, it's like, well, what? how come nothing happened? How come my wand sucks because I've tried to use it? It's like, well, you're doing it wrong. Okay, M. We have an M already. So yeah, um, gold, the power, would be awesome to find. I hope it's not like, well, buddy, those don't appear, those don't spawn in hell. It's like, oh, really? Like, yeah, you have to go to the sky. Like, well, I don't want to go to the sky. Maybe I want to find it down here so that I don't have to work as hard for it, right? Then how come we'd ever find it, right? Another blood to power. Okay, we're gonna search this whole thing. This is a shop. Things should be showing up in here. There's not a lot for sale on, in this parallel world hell shop, but um, there has to be more than what we've seen. So, unless we've left the shop and now we're in just some other thing. I swear there's more. Maybe we just need to go a little further to the left just in order to find it. But so far we did not find really any reasonable spells. There were spells. Like, what's the Sawblade Orbit? Orbit Larpa, I should say. Okay, don't need that. We'll grab some of these items. Another one of those goofy hole spells. There's an Alpha. Cool. What's this? Add trigger. Already have one of those, in case we wanted to mess around with that. There's a Nuke. Okay. Couple more Greek letters. Still nothing. Nothing there. Hmm. I have the feeling it just is not gonna give it to us again. I'm telling you guys. It knows whenever I want something and it doesn't want to let us have it. Now myriad spells could be cool down here, but we already have one. Thinking of buying it just because. Throw out something silly like this. Myriad spell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Well, if we bought it, we'd be able to get rid of the octo. Octo spell. Don't see any reason why we need to hold on to that. Um, it allows us to also remove this. So we can have room for that chainsaw that belongs on there once it's time. Once we find that. Not gonna find a chainsaw down here, but I don't know, I figured why not grab myriad spells. There is spells, gold to spells. This was one of the things we needed. Gold to power. Spend 5% of your gold and add damage to the thing. So once we're at, um, once we reach gold cap, you're darn right we're going to be using that. In order to basically always do a bunch of extra damage. So, good find. We got one of the spells we need. And there's certainly more shop beneath us. Ooh, something hit me pretty hard there. Hit with some sort of projectile. We'll heal through that. We'll heal through that. Oof. More blood to power. Nuke orbit. T. Don't remember what T does, but I don't think we use T. Someone uses T. All right, there's an eight-way spell. Always fun. Question mark stuff. Cool. Nuke orbit, we already mentioned. We're back at T. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
How far is this shop going to go down? Are we going to have to search the smaller shop that's off to the right? Because this shop ended? That would be a shame, wouldn't it? I don't like that idea, but watch. That's what we'll have to do. <laughs> okay. Add trigger. Okay. Matsusade, I think? I don't know what the name of this spell is. Meteor Swarm. Meteor Sade. Okay. Well, let's grab the cash from here. Lots of money all around. Look at that lava. Okay, okay, let's get through this. Feeling a little stuck here. I keep scooting around to the right. What is this thing? Is that the kind of bounce we need? Is that Does that do something? It looks like a bouncing kind of spell. Vacuum bounce. What? What? I don't know what that does. It only has 20 charges of it, so let's not jump to any sort of conclusion that that would be good. So we would only be able to use it a limited amount of time anyway. What's this spell? This looks interesting. Ooh, one man. Inner spell. Cool. I don't know what that one does. Hey, buddy. Alright. Build that thing. Shouldn't there be... Shouldn't some of this still be shop? Yeah, it is a, still a shop. Plenty of money around. Looking for the Nala. Nothing up there. Still looks like a shop. Feel like we're still at the shop. But we're not seeing anything for sale, so maybe we've gone too far to the right, and this is starting to act like we're in a entirely different sort of biome. Oh no, there's some shops. Another gold to power. Cool. Well, we only need the one. We only need the one. There's an M. Okay. Silver will hurt us, regardless. Okay. Big money in here. Big money. Oof. Careful, Stens. Just got licked by a lot of lava for a second. Okay, some of these spells I'm recognizing, so we've gone too far to the left. Continue off to the right and just completely milk this shop until it's done. It feels like it's all a shop still. At some point it will stop being a shop. It's like with this desert. No, it's still got spells. There are still spells around. Two? Two X? Whatever that does. I'm hoping there will be some comments that are like, hey, you missed this spell that would have changed everything for you. Which is probably just like, buddy, Divide by. It's like, yeah, I know, but someone has to tell me how they work correctly. Because I've only had very limited success with them. Anything for sale? There's a T. Okay. This is looking like a regular old hell biome now. But we did not get it. We did not find what we wanted. Nothing's going to be for sale over here. So, you know what we can do, folks? We can try the right shop. The right shop is a lot smaller, but it's also a little safer. $44 million? I mean, we definitely got paid coming down here. 
So I will will always have that. There's always money at least. And with that um gold the power all we have to do is get to the two billion. And that's that's actually gonna be asking a lot. All we gotta do is get to two billion gold when we're at forty five million. It's like, um realize how much gold we've picked up? I don't think we're gonna get there without really stacking that greed. Like and when I say stack, I mean like really stack. Now what we did last time we did this is we just sort of went to the right wall, which is where we're at now. We're digging up, digging up, heading up, which is wrong, usually. But it's also tells us that the hell shop, there will be a hell shop up here. Oops, that's going to port me the wrong way. Above us should be the hell shop. If memory serves me correctly. So we'll climb. Good thing we have all that stronger levitation. Makes this a little easier to travel. Especially with a borked teleport wand. I have half a mind to go to the sky and just be like, you know what, I'm going to risk death. But there's going to be a Nala in the sky. Going up there without, like, a viable source of teleport is going to be ugly, to say the least. And it feels like we should have seen that hell shot by now on the right. Something is missing here. Really pushing our levitate. Take a moment, bring it back. get to listen to this forever, the, the, the poor um, homunculus getting nuked by it. And check this out. There was no hell shop. We didn't find it on the right here. So, and there's the way off to the, to the right, which tells us that we do need to fall back down. We need to try that again. There should have been a hell shop. Watch us land in evil liquid. But we were just down here. I just want to give it another shot. Because something is wrong. There should have been a shop over here. Could be that New Game Plus that doesn't exist. Or the Hell Shop doesn't always spawn on the right. Certainly spawned on the left. So I am... Going to try going down a little further than normal. See if a, a shop appears on going through here. Okay, well, dead stuff. So we we were just here. We obviously remember that. This should really be a hell shop. What's going on? Might it show up soon upon another fall? We're just going to be falling forever? Aha! Hell shop. Aha! Random projectile. Not what we need. Spells. Pus is the name of this substance. Oh. Don't know what we do with that. Try. Add trigger. Okay. I feel. I landed in the pus. It's poisonous. It's poisonous. It's very poisonous, in fact. But I seem to have healed through it. Okay. Divide by spell. Cool. Alright, so yeah, I wasn't familiar with the pus liquid, but it exists. So maybe this is this uh, version of the meat biome, something like that? Uh huh. Did that land on me? Am I okay? Okay, we're okay. There's another nice divide by. Can we start messing with that? Yeah. Add timer, probably not that necessary. Another divide by four. Alright. Yeah, this is apparently a shop.
And let's uh, see what we can get out of this. If there's anything more for sale as we explore it. It's almost Temple of the Art-like because we have traps. So this is Hell version of Temple. It means we could have some treachery in here. Oh man, we are just not getting the spells we want. So I'm going to take this opportunity to head over to the left. See if maybe something shows up. I do believe this is the Hell version of the Temple of the Art as given away by the trap. There's our Nala. Okay. Let's throw something. Just a drill, I guess. Okay. We put this on here. Does this now be a... <laughs> Alright. It sort of works. It might be that it needs a little bit better refresh in order for it to be bzzzed wand. But I believe that, yeah, it's working as the kind of teleport that we wanted. That I can kind of... I think that no, but the... Not having the uh, remove bounce is messing with it a little bit. Because in that one frame that it goes, it uh, can bounce. Lots of money left behind here, so... We still want remove bounce, is what I think, in order to really maximize this. However, it does do what we wanted it to do. I really don't feel like taking re remove bounce off of my drill, because that is act stupid. Might it need just more, more everything? Might it need um, something like this? Cool. Wow. This is awesome. I am just cruising with this thing. Okay, so whoever was like, get a Nala, put it on there. That was genius. Thank you, commenter from YouTube. Because, wow. All I can say is wow. And it doesn't run out of mana. So I'm actually just healing each one of those ticks, too, while flying at ridiculous speeds. So we can pretty much call this episode a victory. <laughs> Having it frame perfect too is pretty silly. I mean, it might be that that um, that I could make it even even tighter. We could add a uh, increase lifetime on it, like Nala plus increase lifetime, so that it, it goes a little bit faster, a little further. Why don't we tinker with that before we get swarmed by bad guys? What if we did something like that? Excuse me, hi guys. I'm tinkering. Can we? Can we give me a hot minute here? First of all, I'll get rid of this M and put uh, Okay, this looks correct. So the increasing the lifetime is not um Nala seems to just overrule that and go like, okay. It might be that they're in the wrong order, that you do Nala and then increase the lifetime. Let's try that. No, no. It's just making it slower. So. We drop this. And we switch it to another reduced recharge timer. Now let's see if I'm really frame perfect flying. This time it's draining mana, though. That's too much. Maybe we have to do an add mana, too. Huh? We make this wand just absolutely ridiculous. 
now it's not running out of mana, and it's still cooking. Another? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. With the mana. Dang good. That's about as frame perfect as we're going to need it. I mean, maybe it's all even. It was just the same as before, but I like this. I feel like I can get myself killed using that relatively easily. <laughs> but this is exactly what we wanted out of going to this parallel world hell. So I really think it's time that we take this adventure back to the other main drag by heading back up through the hole. Because we're really going to want to find um, the orbs first in the main world, and then come over to the parallel worlds, in my opinion. It really doesn't matter the order that we do that. We could find them in the parallel and then come up. But I really feel that our teleport wand just improved dramatically. We don't run out of mana doing it, because we have all this stuff. All this concentrated mana in the belly. Then there's no reason not to use it like this. We're healing through all of it. Each one is a new proc of uh, Circle of Vigor. Feels like I'm kind of zigzagging around with it. <laughs> it's crazy, folks. I like it. And especially for like traveling through like the sky, we could just be like, alright, I'm go I'm now just flying through everything. That sounds like a surefire way to get yourself killed. Like, yeah, I'm just I just go. You land, you just get polymorphed or something. Bad is bound to happen from, like, a man flying at, at maximum speed. So how about this? You know, in the typical Sten style, we do it in controlled bursts. We don't say, oh, I, I just use this everywhere, and I'm now I'm just having a great time. No. Oh, no. Okay, so we're just going to get up to the top of this. We'll probably call this episode a little early. It feels like we've made it where we need to go. Because we have accomplished what we wanted to. Because, of course... Getting this spell, getting all this gold, getting the orb. And this should have been our way up, but we are a little bit lost on the way back. So let's just drill carefully through here. should be the way up. Cool, cool. And then we can just kind of do it this way. Wow. All right. Not get ourselves killed in the Temple of Art while we make it back to safety. The main thing we want to do is port back to the main world. And then, here we are back home. We can call this episode a couple minutes early. So, this is a good stopping point. Thank you all for watching that. Very climactic that we got all this. And I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you. Bye-bye.